The trick I'm going to show you today is going to apply in many situations with charts and I'm going to do an example. So I'm going to highlight dynamically the lowest value I have on my chart and the highest value. So obviously if you do this manually, you can do this effect, but if my lowest data point changes, for example, it's not 11 anymore because 11 is like 34, you will have to do it again and again and again. And we don't want this. Again, for the 90, if I look at it, I put it at 56, then another data point is the highest. So how to do this? We're gonna start with a clean data set. So here I have all the months of the year and I have some sales numbers. So first of all, I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna do insert and then I'm gonna select a chart. I will do more columns chart. Then in this, I have line chart. I can select this one with markers and say, okay. And I get a chart. Now, first of all, what I'm gonna do is remove those grid lines. So you click here inside, then you press delete on your keyboard and the grid lines are gone. The second thing I'm gonna do is selecting the chart. And then if I see here, I have a line. So the line is automatic, it's blue. You can change the color. So I'm gonna make it, for example, this blue. And then I have the marker. So the marker has a fill. We're gonna do it, for example, in orange. And then we're gonna remove the border. So we do no line for border. And we have our chart. Next, if you want to highlight your minimum and maximum, you need to know what is the minimum point and what is the maximum point that you have and you need to create new data series. So how do we do this? Let's move the graph a little bit and let's write here max and min and let's format this a little bit. So we take this from the format painter, we double click on the format painter and we click on max and min and then we can click back so we don't select the format painter and we need to find which data point has the maximum. So how do I do this? Basically, I can use an if formula. So I can say if 84, which is my cell B2, is equal to max, I open the parentheses, I select my range, then I press F4 to have the dollar sign because I'm gonna drag the formula. I close my parentheses, then I do comma. If it's the maximum, then give me the value. If it's not the maximum, I can do a blank number. The problem with a blank number is that when you chart it, you put it on a chart, it will do a line. So I'm gonna show you this with maximum and then we can fix this problem. So first I'm gonna drag this. Here you can see I have 295, so I have two highest points. If I want to add this data series, I'm gonna do right click, select data. Here I can click on add, series name is max. Then what is the series value? I take this and I say, okay. And as you can see, I got these dots. Why? Because for Excel, the dots are like zeros. So to get rid of this, I have to convert those dots to NAs. An A or an error is not gonna get charted. So let me show you. Instead of this, we can write NA as a function, then open parenthesis, close parenthesis. Don't forget the parenthesis, otherwise you'll get an error for real. So now if I drag this, you can see that I only have the two dots that are highlighted here. You cannot see them very well because they are in orange, but those are the ones. I'm gonna do the same thing for the minimum. So I'm gonna do Control C, then I press Escape, then I come here, I go to the formula bar, Control V, and then instead of max, I'm gonna do min. Then I can drag this, I can right click, and I can say select data, add a data series, the name is min, and then the series value are those. We select it, we are happy with it. And here you can see this dot that is in gray. This is the dot for the minimum. Next, I need to format this. So I click one time, don't click two times because if you click two times, it will only select this dot. 
you need to click one time to select all the dots of the Mac series. You can go here. If you don't have this, what you could do is right click on this and then format data series. And if you want to make sure that you have this, you can click and you can see that I'm selecting series max. So if something else was selected, you might format something you don't want to format. So just come here and check whether it's main, max, or etc. Here, if I click on the bucket, I have the line and the marker. I'm interested into the marker. I have marker option. If I click on the build in, Okay, I like this one. You can change it to something else if you want. And here we're gonna increase the size. As you can see, I'm increasing the size. You can see those dots here. They are increasing in size. I'm gonna select 17, so they are big. And then fill, I don't want to fill them. So I'm gonna do no fill. So you can see the dot behind it. And then for the border, I'm gonna do a solid line. And then the color, we can choose this green. The width, we can increase it to 3.75. And this is how you get this green effect. The other thing we're gonna do is the same thing, but for the other one. So I click here because my other one is here. If your other one is somewhere else, you can click on it or you can go again to series options and select series min. And then you do the same. You have your marker, you have the built-in marker, you can make it 17 and then no fill, then you go solid line, you change the color, we're gonna choose the red, and we make it 3.75. And as you can see, I selected my minimum point. If I go here and I change it, let's assume that this is 80 and this is 76. Now my highest point is here, and I can do the same with this one, I can do 24. Now my minimum point is here. So it works. Next, we need to add the data labels. So I can click on this and then I again recheck. I have series max. I click on the plus. I have data labels. So I get this 91 here and then I can play with it. So I clicked on it. I can make it bigger. I can make it bold and I have it. And if I go here again, you can see that I have my label above the line which is good for me again if you don't have this another way to get it is to just select for example 91 then double click and this opens we're gonna do the same for this point so we select this check the series it's a series min and then we go plus data labels you see the label is above so we're gonna fix it we go to home 10 and a half we make it bold then we go here and then we go down and we say below. So here you have it below. You can make it right, for example, or left, whatever you prefer. And you get the number. The last thing I want to show you is if I hide this, this will go from the chart. So how to fix this? Obviously, you can do conditional formatting or make the colors of the text, like make it in white, etc. But one way we can do this is to right click on the graph, do select data, and then you have hidden and empty cells. You click on show data in hidden rows and columns and you say, okay, and then you have this effect. Last thing, I'm gonna click on this axis. I'm gonna bold it just to make it a bit nicer. So this is the concept. I hope you like it. You can use it for anything. Here I highlighted the min or the max. You can highlight any value you want and do the same concept. Let me know if this is useful and let me know where you have applied it in the comment section. And please don't forget to like the video. And if you didn't subscribe, please hit the subscribe button.